Hi, my name is Shane Seals. Welcome to Market Monday number 22, uh, where I try to show you something cool. So it's been a little over a month since I've done a Market Monday, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, I got married uh, last Sunday and uh, to Nakia Hunter, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to show you guys a, a few pictures uh, from our wedding. Uh, we did a cosplay wedding, which was kind of a mashup of uh, Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter, and we invited every uh, everybody else to dress up as whatever fantasy or sci-fi character they wanted. Um, here you can see a, a few pictures there. We got our officiant was dressed as Gandalf. Um, and we uh, invented a new fist bump. I call it the, uh, the wed bump. And here you can see the uh, almost the entire you know, uh, set of people who came. Uh, it was fantastic. It was great. I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, and I'm married now, so hey, that's cool. Um, let's see. Uh, going back to the business side of things, or the tech side of things, so um, I haven't been totally idle on that, but I haven't created the, uh, the mock-ups that you guys are, are used to seeing. I'm actually going to be showing you guys uh, mock-ups of essentially what other people have uh, done, uh, because I've uh, tried to get a logo for my company. I now have a company. I have a limited liability company and uh, I had to pick a name for it. I wanted to do something with my own name, uh, which is Sealess, but it's hard to uh, guess the pronunciation from its spelling. Most people say Sealess and um, and I also, I wasn't too sure about using my, you know, my own name, especially if it's a company that I ultimately end up selling, it'd be, it'd feel weird to sell my own name to somebody. So I wanted to play with like a riff on my own name. Uh, and Nikki and I like batted it around for a while. And, um, her, her maiden name, which she's keeping is Hunter, which I really like. Um, I think that's a really strong, uh, name, especially for what I want to do, which is search. So Hunter or hunting is a really great search verb. So you know, I was thinking, Sealess Hunter, okay, how can we play with this and make it more interesting? And we started thinking of like, well, what if the C was, you know, as in something that you see with your eyes? And, you know, we played around with that and we thought, well, what if it was the C is in like a body of water? Um, and, okay, that's something. Uh, C, C, and then we came upon a C wisp, which isn't a thing, uh, as far as I know. A sea wisp isn't a thing, but it sounds like it could be a thing, uh, which is neat. So we we decided on a Sea Wisp Hunter LLC, which is uh, my uh, company name, and I had to. I'm going to you know I don't have any delusions about my own artistic or musical talent, so I'm going to have to be uh, soliciting and commissioning work from other artists in order to make uh, these games a. Uh, uh, full-fledged reality and you know so I'm gonna need some of the trappings of having a real business and not just being hey I'm some guy um, so I uh, I wanted to get a logo and I went to 99 designs because I heard good things about it and uh, signed up with them put together a little design brief and put together uh, some concept art that the artists uh, could used to get like kind of just a feel of where it is that, you know, um, I'm coming from and what kind of, you know, audience I'm targeting. So I'll show you some of that concept work. You guys have already, you know, seen some of these like actually in the flesh or, you know, even some of these sketches. So here's one with kind of the Venus flytrappy uh, kind of thing. And then this is, you know, kind of this quadrupus in a jar. I don't know, you poke it with a stick or something. Uh, these are just a bunch of quadrupuses in jars. Um, and then from the last mock-up that I showed you guys where you have the hand-controlled uh, quadrupus. So those were some of the uh, concept, you know, images that I, I provided. And I just want to go through some of the uh, entries that I received. I received over a hundred entries. Uh, the cost wasn't that much. And what I signed up for was a logo and a business card. And I got, you know, more than I bargained for. Um, so I was really happy with the service. I recommend it to, you know, independent uh, 
game developers, small companies, um, I think it's a really good way to kind of get off the ground. Um, so let's see, uh, a couple of constraints for the logo, you know, like what do I need the logo to do? Uh, one, I want it to have some kind of character, um, preferably if the designer could imagine what a sea wisp ought to look like and say, hey, how about this? Uh, that would be great. Um, I need the logo to kind of work as a splash screen. I also want it to be able to work in black and white. It's got to be friendly and, you know, uh, hopefully good for, you know, a younger audience because I am targeting the games market. So let's see. So I'm just going to start walking you through some of the uh, designs uh, that I received uh, that I thought were excellent. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's see. So <clears throat> this design, um, I really liked. Something about the, the eyes uh, really worked for me, although I couldn't quite say if it, is it four-legged or is it bipedal or, or, or what? But, you know, there's something that really kind of grabbed me about it. Um, this is from the, uh, the same designer. Uh, this is probably my favorite one of, of his bunch and actually what convinced me to commit to the contest and um, offer a definite payout. Um, I thought this was a really uh, excellent uh, design. Um, this one's a little bit more squiddy and watery and I, was, I thought that was really cool too. Uh, this one with the one eye thing I, I thought was uh, neat. Um, so this is from a different designer. I really like this. I really like the, the bubble um, that, uh, that she chose and uh, I thought the eyes were great. However, it reminded me of something else and with a logo I want to avoid things that remind people of other things. Um, like it's, you're trying to you know, assert your own identity separate from other people and this one unfortunately kind of reminded me of cars a little bit too much. Uh, this one I really liked. I really liked the kind of, like, it's hidden. You can't see all of it. Um, it's kind of peeking out. It's not completely defined. Um, unfortunately, it is, you know, an octopus and not, say, a quadrupus or something, which I thought would be kind of a nice uh, nice way to go. Um, but it looks nice, and it could work in black and uh, white. This one works for me because I just love that it's kind of abstract and austere and it could be like, I don't know, like plankton or something. Uh, uh, I really like this one, but uh, Nikia kind of warned me off of it. Of like, this would be great for perhaps some other company. Um, this is another one I really like. It's simple. Um, one of my friends really pulled for this one. Uh, I did some, some polls. They offer a polling service where you can have select like eight different designs and, you know, send a link to your friends and have them, you know, help you out. Like, what what do people actually like? Because it's surprising what they like. Uh, I really like this one, but it reminds me again of other things. Uh, I actually went back to Super Mario Brothers to try to, like, find it, you know, because it, it reminds me of something in Super Mario Brothers. And I saw other things that weren't quite it. It also reminded me of, like, a Pac-Man Ghosts. Uh, sorry, a Ghost and... It's not, of course, like when you go and look at the Pac-Man, you know, you, you're like, oh no, it's got all these differences, but still, I'm reminded by it, and I, I had to go check the originals before I could really confirm to myself, no, it's, it is different. This is from the, uh, the same designer. Uh, this is another one that I really liked and really struggled with, um, because I just, it's so uh, austere, you know, it's just like, you know, simple elements put together but um, that uh, make something and um, one of uh, one of my friends comments uh, they said that it didn't look like it was alive like it could just be a static structure which to me I was like oh, I really do need it to mean something to somebody who has, has no idea what it is that I'm doing or what I'm interested in so I tried to you know be like okay how could I liven this up just a little bit um, without destroying what I think makes it such a strong logo. And um, I added this concept art, uh, you know, for the designer to take a look at. And I thought maybe if there was like a gear, you know, inside that was, you know, 
causing a leg to kind of you know move up a little bit maybe that kind of gear mechanized you know kind of thing would help the logo kind of do what i want it to do which is to show something that's you know dynamic and not totally static um, however the the artist uh, either didn't have time or didn't feel inclined to do anything with that which is fine i still thought this was a really strong logo and if i was perhaps doing a different kind of company um, something that wasn't geared towards a younger audience uh, it, it was hard to let this one go and not just grab it because i really like this logo um, let's see this was another really strong contender uh, this was probably uh, Nikia's favorite. Um, I really like this one. It worked well in black and white. I thought the typeface was excellent and also the colors. I had requested something kind of maybe blue and orange, but with a lot of question marks and being like, I'm not a designer, don't trust me. But it, uh, I ended up opting for something else, not because this one's bad, but just because of whatever. Uh, I'll. I'll now show you the one, the, the first batch of uh, designs that came in uh, that I actually ended up uh, ultimately choosing. Uh, this is the character that I actually ended up uh, going for. And the reason uh, why, well, I'll show you further. You know, it, it worked well in black and white, and I really liked the way it looked on, you know, with a kind of blue background. And if you look down here at this uh, shirt, uh, the blue shirt, where you just have the character, you know, put in just slightly different, you know, orientations, and it looks like, it already looks like it's moving, and I thought that that was something that, uh, that dynamicism uh, added a lot to it, and so that's what I ultimately ended up selecting for the logo. So now I'm going to have uh, business cards for when the uh, Maker Fair comes around here, the Champlain Maker Fair in October, which I'll be having some kind of, uh, you know, a little setup at in association with Josh Bongard's uh, UVM lab. And that's basically what's been up with me. And I'm going to try to get back to doing, you know, more mock-ups of my own instead of showing off other people's. But uh, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, thank you very much for watching.